Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nisha and I love fragrances. Today I'm excited to come. You knew this was going to come, okay? Because you guys know that I celebrated my birthday last week and that I was going to come with a haul. How am I not going to haul stuff for my birthday? Like, come on, it's me, okay? <laughs> guys, and I want to say thank you so much for all the birthday greetings. I really appreciate it. I felt the love. And if you want to see what I hauled for my birthday, then please stay tuned. So guys, please, before we start, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a video. These days, YouTube has been playing me. I don't know what the hell's been going on. They've been adding subscribers. They've been taking away subscribers. I'm like, yo, I had to contact them and ask them, like, what the hell's going on? so yeah they've been doing some weird things on my channel so please make sure you have all your bells ticked off so that you'll be notified when i upload a video so guys let's start with my birthday presents first so i'll show you what i got for my birthday and then we'll go to the stuff that i actually bought that i got for my birthday was from my good friend and she gifted me tiffany rose gold she knew that i sampled it and i said to her that i really loved it and i was going to get it and she surprised me for my birthday with this fragrance. Guys, I really, really love this fragrance. It's such a pretty girly fragrance. Now, let me just throw the box there. And all the Tiffany's, like I had the original Tiffany and I got rid of it. I didn't, it, like the Tiffany hasn't really wowed me. I still have another one, Tiffany and Co, you know, that round bottle. But this one, when I smelt it, I'm like, yep, this is the one for me. This is so pretty. It is feminine. It's sophisticated. It's one of those pretty girly scent. Guys, this has, oh my God, when you smell it, it's like, wow, it's just pretty. It's nothing groundbreaking. It's nothing out of the ordinary. It's just a pretty feminine fragrance. It has black currant. It has rose. It has iris. It has musk. It has amber, amber sea. So it's a sweet floral kind of musky fragrance guys it's beautiful now it's not like very long lasting anyway. it's just a regular everyday fragrance this could be a, a signature scent guys it's really really pretty i'm not gonna lie i really like this it's just you know it's just nice so that's tiffany rose gold from tiffany and co gorgeous scent mm. other fragrance that i was gifted now this was like like a total, total surprise. I sampled this from a friend of mine in the fragrance community, not on YouTube or anything. Somebody that I, a really good friend of mine that I made through Facebook, you know, buying fragrances and stuff from. So we became friends. I sampled a fragrance and I fell in love with it. And my dear friend surprised me in the mail. I saw this box and I'm like, I didn't order anything. When I opened it, I got a bag of samples and a bottle of materials guys materials i fell head over heels with this fragrance i was like wow this fragrance has um elemi oil it has patchouli it has vanilla benzoin guyacwood oil it has osmanthus frankincense labdanum and tonka bean so it's a warm spicy resinous fragrance guys this is so comforting it's powdery it you could smell that tonka bean for sure it's like a warm snuggly blanket when i put this on it makes me feel sensual it makes me feel snuggly it makes me it puts me in that mood it's just so so beautiful and i am very skeptical when it comes to amouage fragrances because they're a hit and miss for me because they could be a little bit strange and a little too much for me at times but materials guys oh my god i am so so happy that i got this in my collection thank you you know who you are so this is materials i'm so so excited to have this in my collection again i was surprised by by my friend emmy she was selling this fragrance she this was hers and she was selling it and i was questioning her i'm like do you think i'd like it tell me about it and i was like yeah i think i would like that and before i knew it a few days before my birthday i got this box and i'm like again i wasn't expecting anything 
when I opened it, it was the most beautiful gift with chocolates and a little postcard that her little elf made for me. And she surprised me with this fragrance. Guys, this is Ramon Monegal Ibiza. I heard so much about this and I am so happy. Emmy, thank you so much for this generous gift. So this is how it opens. It just slides out. This is it. Ah, hold on. Let me just get rid of the packaging. Guys, Ibiza. It's a nice, white, simple thing. But guys, this is a very, very unique fragrance in my collection. I don't have anything that smells like it. Now, some say it's a bit masculine. Honestly, honestly, no. I don't think so at all. Guys, this has the main accord. It's floral, it's vanilla, it's aldehyde. It has lots of aldehydes in it. It's powdery, it's, it's very fresh. I find it's a light, it's a very clean, fresh, kind of out of the shower kind of scent. It has almond, it has uh, anise. You get that anise. Guys, this is so, so powerful. This is one, pow I just want a little spray because, guys, this is strong. It's very powerful. It's, um, as I said, it has aldehydes in the opening. It has ginger, anise. It has almond blossom, heliotrope, jasmine, tonka bean, musk, and patchouli. Guys, the aldehydes are strong. You get that anise and the freshness to the opening. Guys, it's absolutely beautiful. The sillage on this is insane. You get this nice sillage when you're walking. You leave the most intoxicating trail. So this one, I really, really like. This other fragrance, I have to say, I bashed it at first. Honestly, I was like, what the hell is the hype about? I honestly did not like this fragrance. I was like, eh, it's okay. I don't get what the big hype is. I don't like it. It ain't all that. And then I just swallowed my words. I'm sorry. Hey, we are entitled to change our minds, okay? So I've been hearing about this, hearing about this, and I did get a little sample from my friend, Emmy, and I'm like, mm, you know, I'm t you're wondering what fragrance I'm talking about. Guys, let me show you before I start rambling on this Italica. Yes, I got a brand new one at a really good price, so I bought it. I was not going to pay a full price for this. Hail to the no. So guys, I did get an amazing deal, and I bought it. Packaging is gorgeous, like all the Casamarati slides out and this is italica i'm sure you've seen it a million times on youtube and everywhere else because everybody's been talking about this okay try to get it out that'll be nice sorry again so this is italica now i absolutely love the packaging yes it's like the others it's just like the casamarati there but i love the color of it it's like a a wine color but it's matte but then it has like a sheen. It's really, really pretty. I don't know if you can see it. It's really, really nice. So let's get into the notes. So guys, Italica has, um, it has almond, milk, saffron. It has toffee. It has vanilla. The base notes, sandalwood, cedar, and musk. So let's give it a little zhuzh. Guys, when I, again, when I spray this, it's very sweet. You get that lactonic note for sure. It's very milky. You get the almonds and the toffee. Now the dry down in this, of course you get that vanilla sweetness, the sandalwood, and it's a slightly bit woody and musky, but it's very lactonic in my opinion. But again, when I spray this guys, it's like, it's not very strong in my opinion. I'm thinking, oh my God, almost busted my toe. Again, I said, you know what? People keep saying this is beast mode. What the hell? I could smell it for a little bit. And then I swear, I just get little whiffs here and there. It's like, I'm not getting that beast mode that people say. And I'm like, what the hell? Quick story. As soon as I got this, I got this the day before my birthday. I busted it open, showered, and I sprayed it all over. I went outside in the backyard to give something to my neighbor. So I saw her lean back and she was like, like if she was about to pass and I'm like, what is wrong with you? 
she's like oh my god i feel like i'm intoxicated i'm like what the hell what are you talking about she's like that scent she said what it is you're wearing she said no 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 she said nisha when it's good you know i have to tell you it's good she said i don't know what the hell it is but it's so it's like i feel like i'm being intoxicated i'm like what she said it's so so good then hours later i went outside my neighbor's walking her dog and i'm outside in my yard doing stuff she's like hey she's like you smell so good i can smell you from here i'm like no way she said yes i'm telling you i can smell you from here you smell delicious she came back about an hour after she's like i still smell you i'm like what the hell so guys i know it's a long story but listen i was not smelling it but apparently this is a powerhouse this other one i reviewed it on my channel already i've sampled it and i said that i wanted a full bottle of it guys i am so excited to tell you that i got it look at this this thing is so heavy i hope you can see it royal crown yitzima it opens up and guys look how beautiful this is absolutely beautiful it sits in a bed of goodness the box the packaging is like half of the price guys just look at the crown now i have the i have sultan but the crown is just gold and with the stone this one is the blue guys look how absolutely stunning it is i have the big stone on top oh my goodness it's beautiful guys yetsima mm. guys it's woody it's a little bit fruity it's spicy tobacco amber a little bit of oud guys i said in my review that this has very good longevity and projection this is to me um what's it called again i keep forgetting the name Parkato on steroids okay on steroids it has that vibe of it i'm not saying it's a dupe of it but it has that i don't know that that vibe of hot couture this thing is so beautiful the tobacco the smokiness there's a sexiness to this it's deep it's rich it's resinous guys i love love this i am so happy to add this in my collection oh my nails kind of matching this hello 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 <laughs> so yeah so that's yitzima from royal crown this other fragrance that i've added to my collection now ow i have sampled it and i knew that i wanted it but again i was being good and waiting for a good price because these fragrances are extremely expensive all of them that i've showed you before they're quite pricey so i got this one memo paris and this one is Sintra. now everybody says okay let me show you first before i start yapping comes like this i'm sure you've seen it before i really like these uh memo paris uh their bottles very pretty with the blue guys Sintra. this is very sweet it's floral it's a little bit powdery it's like tonic it's almost like love don't be shy very very close but i would say the note of uh, let me give you the notes and i'll explain some more it has neroli it has pedigree red fruits bergamot it has milk so yes i do pick up that lactonic quality of it orange blossom resins jasmine cinnamon rose marshmallow madagascar vanilla caramel musk and cedar so this is a sexy sweet gourmand it does smell very close to love don't be shy but i would say that pedigree gives it a different take on it you could definitely pick up that pedigree in it and when it dries down i pick it up even more so guys i really love this and guys this thing lasts all day all day on your skin and it projects so even though it's expensive it's worth it because it gives you everything you need okay so that's Sintra from memo paris beautiful scent that i'm excited to have in my collection this other one that i've added to my collection this one was gifted to me from roja i didn't purchase this but i am so happy this one is amber oud opens up beautiful presentation as all of roja's creation guys this is a 30 ml ah get out of here stunning bottle with the writing on the side the crystal cap guys this 
was on my wish list for a very, very long time. If I didn't receive this from Rosha, I was going to purchase this for my birthday, guys. Oh my God, I've wanted it for so long. Guys, this is warm, it's spicy, it's a little bit leathery, it has like, it's powdery. To me, when I spray this, it's a rose oud combo, but it's not very heavy on the oud. It's not a skanky oud. It's very powdery. It's very fluffy and airy. Everything is blended very nicely that you cannot pinpoint the notes. Absolutely breathtaking compliment getter. It has this rich, vibrant opulence. It's very opulent. It's very rich. It's very classy when you wear this you will turn heads okay this is a head turner and this is Roja amber oud gorgeous gorgeous fragrance so happy that this is in my collection i'm going to use this sparingly okay <laughs> i've added another killian to my collection and this one i believe it's the paris exclusive guys this is noir aphrodisiac yep beautiful fragrance when i smelt this I fell in love I sampled it and then I found one on sale and I bought it oh my goodness guys for you gourmand chocolate lovers you are going to love this guys the notes are dark chocolate cinnamon iris citron bergamot but you know there's lots more to this guys this you could get the dark chocolate it's sweet it's floral you get that patchouli a little jasmine guys it's rich it lasts very long on my skin considering it's killian you know killian as i said it's iffy about the longevity this one really lasts long it's ambery it's yummy it's a bit powdery lasts long on the skin and it's very very sexy this to me it's a very sexy alluring kind of fragrance so you want to smell like a snack chocolate vanilla yumminess check this one out noir aphrodisiac so happy to add this one in my collection as i said i think it's a paris exclusive because i couldn't find this so yeah noir aphrodisiac these other two i'm just adding it in the haul and this was gifted to me from house of insomnia i have a full review on these so if you want to see it please go check out my video this is a new release from them this is ritual guys an amazing sexy sensual fruity gorgeous fragrance i'm not going to go too much in it go check out my video but this one guys i did a giveaway on this too absolutely stunning and you want something with chocolate and yumminess and all that check this one out this one is just insomnia it smells similar not exact not a dupe very similar to black phantom but to me more sweet and more decadent and more opulent so these two from the house of faviol safari so yeah I'm not going to talk too much about it as i said i have a full review go check it out you know that i wanted this i've tested this out and i had to get it guys this is dominic ropion and it's promise this is the packaging comes out like this let me make sure it's not upside. yes it was upside down so i got the 50 ml which was very expensive still these these um Frederick malls are very especially promise and like moon and those other ones are very expensive so this is what it looks like but guys this is so so potent you do not need more than two sprays this will last it will project guys promise promise is woody it's earthy it's ambery it's warm spicy let me give you some of the notes in this um it opens up with apple, pink pepper, rosemary. It has Turkish rose, Bulgarian rose, cloves. You smell the spices. It has cypriol oil, uh, patchouli, labdanum, and ambroxan. Guys, castorium and ambroxan. Guys, this is so nice. This cypriol, this, let me see what this cypriol. Cypriol is a woods, it's a moss, and it gives you an earthy aroma. Yes, it does have a very earthiness when I... When I spray this and I smell very deep, I do get that earthiness. But guys, it's powerful, it's powdery, it's earthy, it's aromatic. It's You smell the patchouli in this. It's a little bit leathery. It's very ambery. It's just, it's warm, 
it's dark it's very middle eastern when you smell this it smells of opulence it's very rich it's very as i said very middle eastern guys this is a powerhouse this when you wear this in the fall time and the cold weather guys and the wind catches you with this it has a beautiful sillage it just gives off everything it's so so beautiful i really really love this so this is promise from Frederick mall gorgeous fragrance that i've been wanting in my collection for a long time and with the cold weather creeping in mm, yes honey got another Frederick mall and this one is the 100 ml of musk ravageur i have sampled this as i said i've been trying to be good and sampling and guys oh another warm spicy ambery earthy oh my god this is so comforting another one that you feel like you've been hugged in a warm blanket guys oh my god it's powdery it's spicy it's musky it's hold on let me give you some of the notes lavender tangerine bergamot cinnamon cloves you get that spice for sure vanilla musk tonka bean amber sandalwood guyac wood and cedar guys this is woody it's ambery it's sweet it's very very powdery guys oh my god it's kind of aromatic as well with that lavender but i don't get much lavender in this guys this is so nice so long lasting so mm, it's just snuggly 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 okay this is one of those this is netflix and chill but not too much you'll kill him so yeah musk ravageur from frederick mall another one that i absolutely wanted in my collection this other one that i hold was a total blind buy i heard very few people talk about this but when i read the notes it was so intriguing and i'm thinking oh my god these are notes that i absolutely love and guys when i got this i was pleasantly surprised that i absolutely love it and this is incense suave i spoke about this in my fall lineup because i have been wearing it this is the packaging very simple box guys and it's uh incense suave by Mathieu premier premier this is the bottle very simple guys this is oh gosh it's so good it's ambery it's you get the vanilla it's warm it's incensey let me tell you some of the notes guys it has incense madagascar vanilla benzoin labdanum that's it it listed guys this smells so beautiful it's so incensey you get the smokiness of it but when i spray this on my skin guys oh my god i need to spray this oh my goodness guys this is sweet it's smoky it smells so beautiful like burning wood it's smoky it's woody it's like when this sits on your skin it gets sweeter and it just starts ready oh my god it's beautiful it's so intoxicating when i spray this i just want to come and smell and smell and it lasts long it projects i love it i love it i love it so guys this is incense suave by matier premier you know i love perfumes the marley and i have a few of the male fragrances and i've heard so much of this guy that i had to get it guys this is carlisle this is the daddy of all of them okay carlisle no i absolutely love herod but i had to get carlisle oh my goodness guys this has nutmeg green apple it has tonka bean rose patchouli and vanilla this is absolutely beautiful it's a powerhouse when i first sprayed this it reminded me so much of kle uh amber invite only thing majigas guys it smells so close to that it reminded me of that why am i smelling i have something else here my god nisha get it together guys oh my goodness oh my god you get that blast of green apple the nutmeg is to the top front and center the dry down you get the tonka bean it's slightly fruity it's smoky guys it's really really nice i really like this 
and this thing lasts so long on my skin i thought nobody was smelling me because i went in ham i didn't know you didn't have to overspray this but as again i i didn't really smell it much on my skin i remember going in i went into lush that day i sprayed it and i went i was in the mall and i went to lush i went to buy that you know that body spray thing my is so i walked into lush and anybody who went knows lush knows that when you go into that store it's like you're bombarded with all these scents it's like so fragrant in there right i walked in all i could smell is the stuff in lush and this sales associate came up to me she's like oh my god what are you wearing i'm like you can smell me through this she's like yeah we get a nosmic to this a new scent coming we can smell it she said as soon as you walked in i got this gorgeous scent and i had to come ask you what it was guys i was wearing carlisle she was freaking going off on it she even had the next sales associate come sniffing me up of course she had the mask on but she's like oh my god you smell so good that was hilarious seriously that she could smell me through all that um smell in there so i was wearing carlisle and it does last and people do smell you and you get lots of compliments so that's carlisle from perfumes the marley simply got a few new ones from ocha but I, I forgot to bring it down here. But this was the one I wanted to feature most of all. And there's another one that I should have brought down. Crap. Anyway, let's go with this one. Night in Cannes. I spoke about this one already. Guys, no lie. Oh my God. This is the exact... Oh my God. Gee, don't break. This is the exact dupe for this. Egg Zach from beginning to end. Guys, it's insane. It lasts forever on your skin. It's, oh my God, guys, if you do not want to spend the coins on this, please trust me. Trust me when I say it's the exact, the exact dupe of Fab Delicious, okay? So it's called Night in Cans. Get your hands on this beauty. And guys, this is so inexpensive and it lasts so long. So that Night in Cans from Okja. <laughs> I saved the best for last okay the best guys look at the packaging there was another box but i threw that away this is nishani nefs guys oh my god the packaging is so so beautiful it feels like suede leather look at that guys look just look at this beauty here it's absolutely stunning guys it sits in this velvet bed here oh my god i don't know if i'm going to do a full review on this maybe i will this deserves her own spotlight guys this is nefs it is absolutely stunning this is my absolute favorite from the house of nishani this is heavy it's a black bottle in this kind of metal cage guys look it is freaking adorable so let me give you some of the notes guys this has top notes of saffron it has fig it has honey violet sage it has osmanthus it has rose nutmeg geranium jasmine it has uh, vanilla whiskey agarwood uh, balsam leather amber cinnamon and cedar guys oh my god this is has this boozy opening because it has whiskey it has it's so prominent in it this boozy os uh, opening and the osmanthus you know osmanthus gives this um this fruit like guys i am so happy to have this this right here is real real expensive you have to sell your first born to buy this that's why you don't see them in pictures anymore yeah I had to sell it <laughs> just joking guys guys this is so so beautiful it's so elegant it's mysterious it's sophisticated it's rich it's opulent okay it's opulent this oh my goodness and when this sits on your skin like the more it sits them and it mixes with your body chemistry guys it starts getting sweeter and it starts radiating i remember testing this out the first time just put one spray in my arm one spray in my arm and i went and i was working out and as i started sweating and my body started heating up i kept getting whiffs of it and it was so so good oh 
my god it's so beautiful so guys that's Ness from Nishani absolutely freaking stunning worth every penny seriously worth every penny last long projection insane okay as i wore this a few times i went this i read it i read it on my birthday dinner when i went to dinner and my daughter was complaining she's like mom i have a headache i'm like what's wrong she said you're killing me with your fragrance <laughs> she's in the back seat choking out okay so yeah so guys that's next the best for last Guys, I'm so sorry. I might have to split this video up in two because it's pretty long and it's going to be drawn out. So I'm going to split it in two. So I'll post part one and then I'll add the rest in part two. So please come back for the second round, okay? Thank you so much for sticking with me. I know this was a long ass haul and I'm sorry, but that's how it is. You know how it is. Thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. Yes, we hit over 4K and I cannot wait to reach 5. So please help me. Let's get there sooner than later. Guys, until next video, be safe, be kind and smell fabulous. Bye now.